Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today is going to be a different video than normal, and that's because I was sent a cease and desist. A cease and desist, just for those that might not know what it is, is a written notice demanding that the recipient immediately stop an illegal or allegedly illegal activity. If you don't know anything about me, I am someone who is an anti-multi-level marketing, anti-scam, anti-cult activist, one might say. I would say probably educator, and this is my first cease and desist received. However, I know that many, many people who do what I do and do something like I do, especially on YouTube and TikTok, have received these multiple times. Today I'm going to tell you who sent it to me, why they sent it, what it said, what I said, and we're going to talk about the fair use law and why in particular I think these people sent this to me. If you're going, who did it? It's not anyone from on eight. It's the Beach Boss influencers. If you haven't seen the video yet, a couple of videos back I reacted to one of their trainings. The Beach Boss influencers are like coaches for mostly people who are in multi-level marketing. The main women of Beach Boss influencers are Fran, Carrie, Brandy, who I would put as the leader, Kat, and Adrian. The cease and desist was represented by these Beach Boss influencers as a whole, so I'm guessing these five women are the people who sent it to me. There was no actual name signed, there was no lawyer signature, but I'll let you see it here soon. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I received for the video that I reacted to. I posted my video reaction to them on March 3rd of this year, about nine days ago, probably 10 from the day that you've seen this. On March 7th, I received an email in my inbox titled, Attention, please cease and desist. Hello, Julie. It has come to our attention that you have made unauthorized use of copyrighted work. Please see attached notice. We hope you take it into immediate consideration to avoid legal action. Thank you, Beach Boss Influencers. So I'm going to be like cutting out names, addresses, all of that. The title is Cease and Assist from Copyright Infringement. They say it has come to our attention that you have made an unauthorized use of our copyrighted work entitled Social Recruiting Secrets, the work, in the preparation of a work derived therefrom. We have received all rights in the work first published on October 30th, 2020 and have registered copyright therein. Your work entitled Anti-MLMer Takes MLM Course, The Secret to Network Marketing, YouTube video, shares essentially identical video to the work and clearly use the work at its basis. We demand that you cease and desist from this activity as soon as possible and take this video down from all social media channels in any event within three days from your receipt in this letter. If action is not taken by you to cease and desist within the given time frame, which is three days as they said, we will have no choice but to take appropriate legal action against you. Sincerely, Beach Boss Influencers, and whatever that writing is. So no one actually signed it, not a single person, just the influencers as a whole. So what they're saying is, I took their work and I used it as my own. They are saying that I did copyright infringement. Now let's read what copyright infringement is first. So I'm getting this from copyright.gov and it's the US Copyright Office in this section of what is copyright infringement. As a general matter, copyright infringement occurs when a copyrighted work is reproduced, distributed, performed, publicly displayed, or made into a derivative work without the permission of the copyright owner. Copyright infringement, generally an infringement refers to the act of, un of unlawful copying of material under intellectual property law. So as we're reading the definition of copyright infringement. What they don't realize is that there's also a law called the Fair Use Act. A copyright infringement is using the original work and adding nothing to it and resharing it, reposting it, re-whatever as your own work. But when you add in the Fair Use Act or Fair Use Law, I am getting this from Stanford Libraries, it's copyright and fair use. So what is fair use? I think it's important for people to understand this, especially people like them who might not understand, or maybe they just use it to threaten me because they think I'm weak. I'm not. What is fair use? In its most general sense, a fair use is any copying of copyrighted material done for a limited and transformative purpose, such as a comment upon, criticize, or parody as copyrighted work. Such uses can be done without permission from the copyright owner. In other words, 
Fair use is a defense against a claim of copyright infringement. If your use qualifies as fair use, then it would not be considered an infringement. When it comes to the Fair Use Act, whether you have copyrighted work or not, people can take your copyrighted work, whether it's a video, a book, whatever it is, copyrighted, whatever it is, and put their commentary to it. That's an entire genre of YouTube is commentary. You are allowed to take the video as I did and use it as commentary, as education and entertainment, which I did. If I were to take the video and repost it without adding any of my own commentary or criticism towards it, that is what copyright infringement looks like. And that's why you might see someone who does a copyright strike on someone's channel because they took that their original video that they did and reposted it with no added commentary or criticism. By the way, I have had the discussion with my lawyer about this, so if you're worried about that, don't. I'm going to read you my reply. Later that night, I replied with help of someone who is in the field of law and who's a boss bitch. She knows who she is. And I've worked with her before as my lawyer. I said, Dear Beach Boss Influencers, Inc. I received your letter dated March 7th, 2023, which I understand you sent in response to a video I posted to my YouTube channel on March 3rd, 2023, entitled Anti-MLMer Takes MLM Course, The Secret to Network Marketing, the video. Prior to posting the video, I purchased access to a course created by your company. I then posted the video in reaction to the course. While I respect that my video may have made you uncomfortable and that you likely do not agree with my commentary, your assumption that I am under any sort of obligation to take down my video is legally unsound. A copyright, if your work actually has a registered copyright, does not foreclose all use and access to the copyrighted material. One such non-infringing permissible use of copyrighted material is under the fair use doctrine. In other words, an individual who uses copyrighted material for what Congress and common law has deemed a fair use cannot be said to have infringed on the copyright holder's rights. Many purposes have been deemed fair use, and commentary, criticism, and teaching are all considered fair use purposes. The video's use of your course is protected by the fair use doctrine because my purpose in using your content was to comment, criticize, and educate within the realm of consumer protection. I am unequivocally clear across all my channels, including YouTube, that my content is dedicated to raising awareness and educating about what I believe to be concerning and predatory aspects of network marketing, multi-level marketing, direct sales, and other industries. See my timestamp at 15 minutes in the video. I am confident that any court's review of the facts, which includes the video, my use of your course, and the nature of my commentary and criticism and subsequent application of the fair use doctrine factors to those facts would undoubtedly find that i did not infringe on your copyright again assuming that you have a registered copyright your letter seems to threaten some sort of legal action against me such a lawsuit would be frivolous and i am confident your case would be dismissed after that I would be entitled to attorney's fees meaning that you would owe fees to your own lawyers as well as mine I understand that you didn't like my video, but respectfully, your threats don't scare me and I am not taking my video down. I knew that when I jumped into doing something like consumer protection, it was going to upset a lot of people and they weren't going to like what I was doing. And a lot of them make a lot more money than I do and can abuse the law. And I thought it could happen where someone tried to do that with me. However, I make it clear in all my videos, and especially at the beginning, with disclaimers, that I know the law and I know what I'm doing, as well as my legal team who watches my videos when it's sent to them, just in case I need to be double checked on something. Now, when it came to the third day, as the Beach Boss influencer said, I did not receive any legal anything. That doesn't mean it won't happen, but I didn't. I wanna make it clear that I have as much right to make comments and criticize and teach based off their videos as they do to make them. And I want this to be an example for those that maybe try to do these things. Stop. Stop doing these things. However the shoe fits. Abusing the law is wrong. And to those that maybe you're a creator or this is scares you, you need to do your due diligence and making sure that you aren't going against the law. You need to make sure that you have your disclaimers, that you're doing things you're supposed to be doing, which includes you knowing these laws and knowing what it means to make commentary. There are people who have abused the 
fair use act. I also, this is my personal preference, but I want to make it clear. It rarely should ever be personal. Posting the video of myself reacting to the Beach Boss influencers was not and still is not personal. I don't take this letter personal either. I understand where they're coming from and why they would be nervous of my video. However, hopefully they understand that I have the right and I'm able to do this by law. And I hope that they understand that using the law like this, which is incorrect, is wrong and they shouldn't do that and neither should you. If their cease and desist is correct, then that means every other commentary channel is doing something illegal. Please know your rights. And there's something, there's something that I want to add, and that is, this is not to do with necessarily the cease and desist, but the fact, but the aspect of making fun of people that you're doing commentary to, or calling them like wild names and diagnosing them and calling them ugly or doing something like that is never needed if you're doing it for the right reason. You will never see in any of my videos me attack someone for the way that they look. And while sometimes it is emotional, it's still not personal. For those of you that watch my channel, thanks. Videos are obviously still coming. This is just one of my weekly videos that I wanted to talk about because there's a part of this where I want you all to know that People like myself who do this put so much at stake. Even if a person didn't break the law, someone could try to abuse the law and go after them and try to destroy their life. It's happened before. So not to sound like egotistical or anything, but people that do what I do are really brave and it's scary sometimes. So go show some love to a creator that you enjoy or all the creators you enjoy today because our mental health is not always at its best because a lot of the time what we do is very difficult and it makes some powerful people very upset. And if you're a creator or someone who cares about this kind of thing, know your laws. Don't be careless. Protect yourself. Even though it's not personal to us, it's easy for others to take it personally. And to the Beach Boss influencers, I don't take it personally. I understand that maybe you just didn't know about the Fair Use Act. I understand that I might have been the first person to react to a video like that, but it's the law and I'm able to. And I hope that you see that and understand that it's not personal and my video is staying up. You know, it's kind of ironic that I give out the shut your mouth award because I'll never shut mine. Thank y'all who've been here so far and are going to continue to be here. And when it comes to the poll, all three of those were the right answer. All three of them. Now myself and I know at least one or two other people did interview for a news article to come out. I don't know if it's coming out soon. It was supposed to, but we'll see what happens. That did happen. I did receive a cease and desist and I have found out stuff about new MLMs or new to me. So thanks for watching this. I know it wasn't my normal one, but I really wanted to make this video. And while it might not have been your favorite, I really appreciate you being here and seeing it through the end. Go ahead and subscribe, like the video if you want, and prepare for more videos to come, and leave a comment below. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.